parents. What we're going to do is another edition of Scoble Homes How To. And that's right, you guessed it, how to adjust these bifold doors. We'll be back in a few minutes when she's gone. All right, as you can see that this door has an uneven gap down the middle, uneven reveal around the top. It's easy to fix. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver and your hand. Let me show you how it's done. First, over here, there's a bracket at the top of this one that has a little set screw. We're going to need to adjust that and slide it out a little bit. And I'll show you a close-up of that in a minute. All right, here's a close-up of that bracket that you need to adjust where your pivot pin rides. Right here is your set screw. Just loosen that just a little bit enough to slide that bracket back and forth in the track, and that'll change the pitch of your door. Tighten it when you think you have it. You have to go on the outside of your door again and close it and test it and see how that gap looks. All right, now that you see that we got our gap even all the way down between the two doors, See, one door is lower than the other. We need to raise it. For that, we need to go down to the bottom pin bracket down here, and we're going to screw the set screw out a little bit, and that'll raise the door. I'll show you how that's done. Here's a close-up of that pin. Basically, it's just a big screw with some gears on it that fit into that bracket, some teeth on it. What we're going to do is lift the door up. In this case, we're going to unscrew it. You may need to use your finger and your thumb. If it's a little bit stuck, take your flat tip screwdriver, unscrew that and screw that in or out to raise or lower the door as you need it to make both doors even then set it back down into those little notches there those little teeth and again you can slide this in or out towards the wall to make sure the gap at the bottom of the door is even and that's all there is to it all right let's suppose your whole door just came off right, i'm going to show you a couple of things up close all right here's your roller pin your pivot pin on the top at the bottom you have a close-up of your pivot pin on the bottom and we just showed you how to unscrew and screw back in to adjust the height. Now, if your door came out completely, more than likely, your bracket has come loose. The set screw came loose and your bracket is sliding. Leave it loose for now. Go ahead, put your bottom bracket in. Into the pin there. Hold this pivot pin down. Put it in the hole in the bracket, keep your roller pin aligned with the track, slide it back into what you believe is the closest position. Take your screwdriver, tighten that set screw. Don't over tighten it, just firmly. And then try your door, and again, go through the procedures to adjust it. Now in this case, it's too close to the wall. Slide it out a little bit, tighten that set screw. Bottom's a little close, move the bottom back out. There you go. Look at the gap and again do that back and forth so you get the reveal of the door and in between the doors the same all the way around. Alright, suppose your knob is loose, that's easy to fix. On the other side here, there's a screw. Put your screwdriver into there, hold on to the knob, tighten the screw. Just snug it up. Don't over tighten it or you'll crush the door. There you go. Your knob is tight. All right, you have some alignment brackets on the inside bottom of the door. You shouldn't need to adjust these up and down if your door is correct. I mean, both of them are at the same level. They should be fine. If they become loose for some reason, they do slide in and out. Go ahead and put this edge flush with the outside edge of your door and just tighten those screws up. And everything should be back to normal. There you go. Come on, if you hurry up, we'll have time to stop up at the fabric store. Well, why don't you say so? I love me some new fabric.